As I consume hours of watch content on YouTube and read countless articles, I've listened to different people's opinions on whether it's a good idea to think of watches as investments and whether it's a good idea to invest in watches or not. Is it safe? Is it risky? wise or foolish. In this video I'd like to share my thoughts and watch to the end for my top tip on investing in watches as well. Hi I'm Marcelo from Prestige Watches and my passion is helping guide watch enthusiasts and collectors, inspiring ideas and knowledge and insight and helping avoid the pitfalls and perils that are out there when it comes to buying and selling watches. If you are thinking about investing some of your money and want to know why investing in watches is a good idea, I'm going to share my top reasons why. I'd like to say honestly that I feel first and foremost that luxury watches should be enjoyed, appreciated and respected. They're items that should make us happy. In fact I'm quite heavily against watch people that exclusively see watches as dollar bills and pound notes on the wrist. But that said, I do also feel like watches can make great investments and for all the reasons I'll mention. So what I personally endorse is that genuine watch enthusiasts who have a passion for watches can also make money through the buying and selling of the right watches. And because they're interested in watches and it's an enjoyable process for them and not just a cold, ruthless, emotionless, transactional money-making vehicle, it should be more enjoyable. It's investing with genuine enthusiasm and knowledge. Now, both the primary and secondary watch market is booming at the moment and growth is expected to continue. As the investing market continues to grow, limited supply paired with growing demand for luxury watches has resulted in rising prices and increased trading activity on the secondary market. And because prices of certain luxury watches have gone up significantly over the last few years, watch lovers and speculators are starting to increasingly consider watches as an alternative form of investment. The way I look at it is that there's two pillars of watch buying. One that is buying of watches that are owned and cherished and kept and the other is watches that are purchased with investment in mind and that can either be enjoyed and worn on the wrist or popped away in a safe for safekeeping depending on the type of watch that it is. And I do know of people that invest in two of an investment grade watch, one to rock and one to stock. And it's also worth reminding you that not all investors are created equal. One investor may be happy with a few thousand pounds of return every few months and another may not be bothered to get out of bed for less than a million pounds of return. I'm hoping that the people I'm speaking to here are the small to medium sized investors who have an interest in the wonderful world of watches. Now, firstly, just for good old time's sake, let's define investment. What is an investment? Investopedia says an investment is an asset or item acquired with the goal of generating income or appreciation. And appreciation refers to an increase in the value of an asset over time. So when an individual purchases a good as an investment, the intent is not to consume the good, but to rather use it in the future to create wealth. An investment always concerns the outlay of some capital today, whether that's time, effort, money, or an asset, in hopes of a greater payoff in the future. So is it possible to buy a watch as an asset and sell it on one day for a price that's higher than what you paid for it? Of course it is. So watches potentially could be a good investment. However, first and foremost, we must all respect the fact that the vast majority of watches will depreciate in value, they won't increase. And only a small handful of models from well-known brands could be deemed as investable assets. Likewise, as with any investment, it's not possible to predict or know how the market will develop in the future, but we can, of course, take a look at the past prices over the years. So here are my reasons why I think it's a good idea to invest in watches uh, and at this point I must advise that I'm not a financial advisor or a financial or investment specialist but I am a watch professional in the industry and these reasons are just my thoughts and opinions based on my experience and my personal research. So reason number one, you can make good money if you buy the right watches. It's a bit of a no-brainer. It is possible to make money in the short term and in the long term if you know what you're doing and that is buying the right watches at the right price at the right time. I'll leave a link to a video I made at the end of this video called What Makes a Watch Go Up in Price? Check it out at the end of this video. I have countless case studies, too many to mention, where customers of mine have made money with watches and where I've made money with watches. And we're seeing some watches for some good brands, mainly stainless steel sports watches from Rolex, Patek and AP, selling at 30, 40, 50% over the RRP. That is a new watch selling on the secondary market for double its list price. And 
that's kind of insane. And some vintage watches are absolutely flying also. And get in touch with me if you want to know what the hot tickets are. Uh, but if you're watching this, you probably already know. But the truth is there's lots and lots and lots of other watches out there that could also make you money. Maybe not as much as the headline making white elephants that we all read about, but still good money. Brands that you may not necessarily think like Langer, Gégé Lecourt, Hoya, uh, Cartier, Bulgari, Omega, Longines, Galley, Universal, Genève, the list goes on and on. But remember, you're buying one day to sell at a higher price and buying the wrong watch and it's game over, you're taking a bath. Or even if you buy the right watch but in the wrong condition or for the wrong price, you're taking a bath. A few years ago, I sold a watch to a customer for £5,000 and that watch today is worth nine or even £10,000, possibly more. But the incredible thing is not the amount of money that he made, it's the fact that he made it while wearing that watch almost every single day. So looking at all the watch dealers and flippers and collectors and sellers that are out there profiting from the sale of a watch each time they sell it, how can it be anything other than a good idea? And let's not forget the price of stainless steel Rolex watches has never gone down in price since the 70s, only up. But on the flip side, I have people coming to me asking me to sell their watch for them, hoping they're gonna make money on it. But guess what? Wrong watch, wrong time, and they're making a loss, unfortunately. Reason number two is that it's fun. If watches are your jam, then why not enjoy them and make some money at the same time? The goal of an investment is to make money, but if you're interested in watches, it can simply be more fun to invest in and wear a watch than it is to invest in cryptocurrencies or stocks or shares, for example. The deep watch research, the hunting, the acquisition, the buying, the wearing, it's an enjoyable process. And you get to experience the wearing of cool, amazing watches while also enjoying the benefits of an appreciating asset. Reason number three, watches are timeless in design and high quality assets. Even with the ability to tell your time on your phone, luxury watches have always proven to date, well for the last century and a half, that they will never go out of style. They're an achievement to those who collect them and an icon to those that wear them. Prestige watch brands are built to last. Many of the luxury watches on the market are built by hand or using a balance between traditional techniques of expert watchmakers and modern technological innovations. And Swiss-made watches have long been considered the premium watches among luxury designers and watchmakers. Switzerland has been the home to master watchmakers and the Swiss-made label is hard-earned. For a watch to be produced with the Swiss-made emblem, it must have been assembled in Switzerland using high-quality handmade movements, also crafted within the Swiss borders. Every piece is inspired for quality before the label is applied and the methods ensure precision and longevity. Consider the fact that the origins of these timepieces predate batteries and even industrialization. And some watch brands are among the most well-known brands in the world, starting with, no surprises, Rolex, uh, which has survived for over 150 years, including several economic downturns. And each of these years, it's grown stronger and stronger and more sought after. And in 2021, Rolex was voted the world's number one super brand by the super brands list. And how can we not mention other household watch names like Amiga, Cartier, Patek Philippe and many others. Reason number four is a portable asset. Unlike cars or buildings or big works of art, because of their small size, a watch can go with you and be sold relatively quickly anywhere, anytime. You can enjoy wearing it and using it in just about every walk of life and still make a profit from selling it. It's easy to show the asset to a buyer, making it a faster moving investment. And if you're getting any value from this, please hit the like button. Reason number five, a luxury watch will help you stand out and it's a conversation piece. In an era where, thanks to mobile phones and smart watches, there's no need to wear a traditional watch, but doing so can mark you out as someone with distinct values and qualities. People who wear nice watches are thought to be more conscientious and wearing a luxury watch can have a significant impact on people's first impression of you. There's companies out there who rent out high-end timepieces to its members for this very purpose. People's first impression perceptions of what sort of a person you are, it's made almost instantaneously without them even speaking a word to you. Whether they notice your dress style or your shoes, and hopefully your choice of luxury timepiece on your wrist. On top of this, if you meet another watchie, it can form a bond and create a conversation. I can spend hours talking to people about watches with friends and family, and I know a lot of other people that can too. In fact, I bought a watch off a chap the other day and he was a salesperson of high-end cars 
And not only did he say that he enjoys talking to customers and prospects equally as much about their watches as he does cars, he also said that he uses watches as a way to spark up a conversation and get to know his customers a little better and bond with them. Reason number seven, other investment opportunities have higher risk. All investments, including traditional ones like stocks and shares and cryptocurrencies, these markets, for example, have risk of going down and crashing. They are and can be volatile. While an investment watch only goes up in value over time, making them steadier investments than most digital assets. Buildings and cars have built-in depreciation value that the right watches don't have. Investing in the stock market, I personally believe, is a little overrated. There's a whole world of alternative investments out there, and watches are one of those alternatives. Watches exist in a more stable market. The value of a watch is highly unlikely to fluctuate like a piece of stock, apart from super hype watches that come out every now and then. But specific watch brands and models can appreciate over time and generate return that will exceed the stock market. And over the last decade or so, the, the vintage watch market has also ballooned. So collectors are willing to pay high prices for sought after vintage watches from a load of different brands. Reason number eight, the value of investment watches only grows as it gets older. Luxury watches have potential to increase in price just with the passing of time, with various reasons and explanations for this. Watch a video I made on the subject at the end of this video, I'll, I'll leave a link. Watches have a built-in historical value that makes them increase in price as they get older. It's like a fine wine that only gets better with age. The older the watch, the higher the value it gets. And don't forget, watches have been collector's items long before many other investment vehicles were even invented. Reason number nine, you can pass the investment piece down to the next generation. A nice benefit of investing in watches is their physical assets. Investing in your future is important, but investing in your kid's future is also important. A watch that can be handed down from generation to generation is a great investment for your younger loved ones. And a luxury watch will not only last your entire lifetime, but the lifetime of your little loved ones too. It's a truly generational investment and it's a great family heirloom. Reason number 10, there's new potential investment luxury watches created every year. Watch brands continually release new luxury watches and any one of them could instantly become a collector's item, a classic. When a watch brand puts out a new watch, it's just like a new stock has just been listed on the exchange. And with the right watch, the value will start increasing from the moment it's placed on the showroom floor. And also kind of counterintuitive to this, but the opposite of a watch brand being released creates value too. When a watch line or model is discontinued, this will cause the watch to increase in value because all of a sudden its numbers are now finite and this creates rarity and scarcity and interest and demand which will push the price up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you don't miss out on any useful watch content, tips, ideas, how to generate money in watches. Okay, reason number 11, because the time to invest is now. I believe the economy is about to rebound from the past years of the pandemic. The high street will rebuild and start getting back to the new normal. Travel is easing up after the pandemic. Events and shows are back in the diaries and sentiment is improving and, and I believe the markets will begin to ease and lose some of their volatility. This is a great time to start investing in alternative assets like watches. And in a world where so much is digital and non-tangible, physical assets are a nice investment to have. It's a little different and interesting and exciting in my opinion. While there may be other bigger, more lucrative investment vehicles out there, profits and returns on watches is certainly better than keeping money in the bank. Now, I'm making this video in a global pandemic. Back in the tail end of 2019, no one quite predicted what was going to happen right around the corner in Q1 of 2020. The virus delivered us humans a thumping one-two killer combo in 2020 and 2021. And now in early 2022, it still has us in a bit of a chokehold. I mention this because who would have had any idea that this virus would have impacted the sale of new and pre-owned luxury watches like it did? Most people would have thought a global pandemic would have dramatically slowed down the sale of luxury watches as people turned their attention to more important things like <laughs> staying alive and keeping loved ones alive and keeping jobs and paying bills. But no, people were and are still buying and selling luxury watches right the way through the pandemic. Things didn't slow down. In fact, the figures evidence growth and make of that what you will. But personally, I would have predicted that in the midst of a global pandemic where people are dying, sales would have dropped. And tell me right now in the comments if you would have predicted growth or decline of luxury watch sales in a pandemic. I'd love to know. They didn't slow down. 
they grew, but they could have slowed down and millions of people could have potentially seen their prized assets depreciate. They didn't, but instead we're seeing record breaking prices for our most wanted and loved watches from our most treasured watch brands. I can't think of many instances in life where you can have your cake and eat it, but investing in watches you can. You can buy a watch, you can wear it, you can enjoy it, you can sell it for more money further down the line. Reason number 12, diversification. Any banker or financial planner or wealth manager will always tell their clients to diversify their investment portfolio and tangible physical assets can act as a good hedge against inflation as well as providing a way to diversify your investment portfolio. And what this means is basically don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you purchase just one investment and it performs badly, you risk losing all your money. By adding other investments, you reduce the risk of this happening and hopefully the profits from your other investments could potentially offset the loss of a bad one. So by spreading or diversifying your investments across lots of different investment products such as stocks, cryptocurrencies, and alternative markets as well as different industries and countries you can lower your overall risk without sacrificing long-term returns and the main reason to diversify your investment portfolio is to gain exposure to a broader set of interesting investment opportunities different investments will not all perform well at the same time investments will be impacted differently by different external factors and they move in unique ways so the combined risk of a properly diversified portfolio will be smaller than the sum of the risk of each asset individually okay now for my top tip the key thing when it comes to investing in watches is buying the right watch. And I would say that there's four levels of investment grade watches, low, medium, high, and sky high. Some watches you can make a little profit, maybe a few hundred pounds per watch. Mid level could be several hundred pounds to a few thousand pounds per watch. Higher level could be 3,000 pounds to several thousand pounds per watch. And sky high will be a white elephant watch like you've inherited a Paul Newman Daytona or Patek Philippe 5711 uh, and we're talking tens or even hundreds of thousands of pounds and this attitude to return is also linked to risk just like investing in a low medium or high risk investment fund so how do you know what watches are best for you this is my top tip partner with a pro to help you find and buy the right watches if you don't know what you're doing or you're unsure or you need guidance, my best tip would be to find a partner, a mentor, and partner up with someone who's got knowledge and experience to help guide and mentor you through the watch buying journey. Even if it's just for a year or two to help you gain experience of your own and protect you through some of the pitfalls and perils of buying and selling watches. To invest successfully in watches, you need to buy a select choice of strong asset appreciating watches, not soft choices that will not gain or worse, lose you money. And that selection choice is not small. And to be honest, there's a gazillion options out there, but you must know what you're doing. And of course, avoiding fake watches and grossly overpriced, overhyped watches being sold by scalpers that are riding the overinflated pricing wave of a watch hype bubble. Thank you for watching. These are just my personal thoughts and my reasons why I think investing in luxury watches is a good idea. But tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to know. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that like button. And if you tap the notification bell, you'll be notified when I create another video. If you're ready to invest in watches, please get in touch. I'd love to speak with you. And my next video will be how to invest in luxury watches. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos on my channel. Cheers and I'll see you in the next one.